I'm alive. I'm, oh my gosh. I feel so weird filming right now. Truly, having the camera facing me just feels weird right now. So weird. Hold up. Okay, so it's really me. I have came back to life. Hold up. Let me fix this lighting because I can't even start. Clearly, the space is different there's so much i look so different right now and it's a good different though i feel like it's a good different i've been thinking about coming back on youtube and giving social media another chance and taking it serious this time because i don't know i'm a, a chismosa and i love knowing other people's business and i want you guys to know my business also i love sharing my business for the chismosos out there that are like me so I have a lot to update you guys I think the last time that I filmed I still had braces and clearly love them no more. Ah, that's one of the like the biggest changes physically that you can see is oh and my short hair I think the last time I filmed I had longish hair I have darkish hair right now because um, your girl needs to get her hair done ASAP. Um, I actually have an appointment in a few weeks, but my hair is growing. I had chopped it really, really short, but it's growing again. And I promise to never ever cut it again because I don't know what I'm thinking. I just be going through it and I take it out on my hair and it's not fair. New space because I think the last time that I filmed, I was telling you guys, I was bringing you guys along the process of uh, buying a home. And your girl is a homeowner. Ah! I'm gonna be screaming so much in this video because ah, I can't believe I'm back. Like, it feels so weird filming, but it feels so good. I can't tell you guys, I can't wait to tell you guys all the tea that I have to update you guys. I think it's been like two years. It's been almost two whole years um, since I've filmed a YouTube video. I am more active on TikTok now, and I'm starting to get the hang of. Instagram reels and doing that but I go back and forth on putting my Instagram private and public so I don't know until they ban fully TikTok I'll be on TikTok so follow me on TikTok everything is linked down below speaking of TikTok that's another reason why too I haven't been on YouTube because I feel like short videos everyone's attention span is so short now like short videos are in like minute clips and stuff like that which i promise i think i'm gonna start doing shorter videos so i'll try to keep it anywhere from 10 12 13 no more than like 15 minute videos but i do miss youtube i miss watching youtube videos like when i'm getting ready because sometimes there isn't anything to watch on netflix or hulu or anything like that so i do miss some youtubers i miss like everyday vlogs or like get ready with me's something that i can watch while i'm getting ready so i am gonna bring back videos short videos and it's gonna be like vlogs and stuff like that again i don't know if anybody cares but i am the type of person that i do care about other people's business i am hella chismosa so if you're a chismosa and you wanna you love to know about other people's life then i'm the person that you want to follow so make sure you hit the subscribe button another update my age hello i'm 27 now what what saying that out loud still like i can't i can't grasp the fact that i am three-ish two-ish though because it's already halfway through the year a little over halfway through this year so and i'll be 28 at the beginning of next year <laughs> so i'm two years shy away from 30 but i'm not gonna lie i am kind of excited to be 30 they say 30s are your best years so i can't wait to be 30 flirty 30 and 30 flirty what is it 30 flirty and thriving 30 i don't know 30 and thriving that's all i can <laughs> i can't wait to be in my 30s honestly i'm kind of looking forward to it guys i was talking for like 10 minutes and realized this wasn't recording i told that i'm new like <laughs> but i was saying i was saying that i was here to testify that i survived the 2024 cicada pandemic outbreak whatever i don't know i have a huge phobia fear for bugs so i was struggling i 
it was not it has not been an easy summer of 2024 but nonetheless updates i mean moved in no more braces cut my hair doing my hair again survive the cicada situation um let's see what else let's see still single that hasn't changed and i don't think it will change there's gonna be some videos with chisme and tea about my dating life and how it's been for me and how i'm struggling with that too i was just talking to nobody <laughs> talking to the screen and uploading and all that so yeah i'm so excited to be back on youtube and like i said this time is for real and i'm gonna try to vlog as much as i can i actually had so much this is so today is july 28 i believe um yes or 27 one of those days 27 today's july 27 and i actually had a busy july which i should have brought you guys along with but august is gonna be so much better so i'll definitely bring you guys more in august yeah i don't think there is much updates besides letting you guys know that i'm back and i'm better and i feel so pretty right now i just came from a gender reveal um and i'm feeling myself i'm not even gonna lie i do feel kind of cute um like i said my hair does need to be done but sometimes like when i curl my hair i'm like oh no it's still cute like my highlights still look nice and all that but look at these roots girl no like i do need to get my hair done i can't wait to be like more lighter and blondish so we'll see um i don't know i don't think there is much more updates oh i do have an update <sighs> which i i wasn't no i do have an update ah! i'm telling you it's me in the screaming i went to dr for my birthday this year oh. <laughs> what i tell you guys oh it was everything and more than I could have ever imagined. It was an all-inclusive. It was my first time doing an all-inclusive resort. Loved it. 10 out of 10 recommend. It's so much more convenient. Um, but it was beyond. I caught, I caught a tan. And I am super, like, blanquita, güerita, like, light skin. Where I don't tan. I just get, like, super red. Like, like a lobster red. But I caught a tan over there. And uh, just the sun in DR hits different. I was there for about a week or so like i think it was like five or six days i went with my sister and i can't wait for next year so we did a little we started doing a little like birthday tradition because we are six years and three days apart so we shared like the same birthday week so for our birthdays we go on a trip and this upcoming year for my 28th and her 22nd birthday it's either between colombia greece or hawaii so if you've been to either let me know which one is the best but i my heart is telling me Greece. I feel like that's where I want to go. That's where I need to go. I feel like just Greece is calling me for a reason. Another update. Um, I think last time also that I was on here, um, I had talked a little. Yeah, it was one of like the last videos. It was about my miscarriage. And I just want to tell you guys, for everybody who reached out during that time, thank you. Um, I don't think I blocked, no, I didn't. I think I hadn't blocked, but I know on the podcast, I did talk about it, but I did end up going to therapy guys. And I recently just, I guess, graduated therapy. I don't know. Like I recently just finished like full time. Cause I used to go once a week, every week. And now it's once a month, once every other month. So I don't necessarily have to have to go. Um, we just do kind of like follow-ups, but honestly, it was something that needed to happen and that was all God's plan, all God's work. It was, everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. It happened for a reason and a lot of good things came out of it actually. So it wasn't all sad, but obviously the first, it took a while to get there. To that mentality to that spiritual level and all that but now i'm in a i'm in such a better place and obviously i know my child is in a way way better place so i am actually have a tattoo in honor of them um it's a mom and a baby and my due date and i absolutely love it and i have right on my vanity i have still the picture of my ultrasound um, I have the little blanket that they gave me, um, a little chupon, uh, a little teddy bear that my mom, my, my sister had bought for the baby. 
so yeah um i'm in such a better place than i ever thought that i would reach i knew i could get to this point i didn't know that i could get to this point this fast like i think my healing journey especially with therapy really helped out a lot it helped me get to where i am now at such a better pace um the help of therapy my um religion my relationship with god my family uh, i actually have like the best relationship with my parents now as well so yeah i mean it was one of the toughest things that i had ever gone through and it's the most traumatic thing that i have ever gone through but i know that it needed to happen and i don't question the way things happen or why they happened so yeah i'm in such a way better place and i hope you guys can kind of pick up pick up on that as well but i'm back i'm just i'm so happy to be back filming and like i said it's really just gonna be like random vlogs i may talk here and there is if there's anything that you guys want to see in specific if you guys if you guys want to type that miss youtube as well i know i miss certain youtubers and youtube life and all that in the videos let me know what kind of videos you guys are the type to watch on youtube stuff like that um mukbangs i know i love those i know i think it's coming back a little bit on tiktok um or on tiktok live i know they do that um but yeah oh and i think i i don't know i think i might do a house tour i'm not sure maybe i'll just do a room tour because y'all don't gotta know my whole space but maybe we'll see but if you guys don't follow me on social media what are you doing follow me on social media my instagram my snapchat and my tiktok are all listed down below and hit the subscribe button and welcome back ah, i'm so excited I'm but yeah i think that is all that i have for you guys today and i will see you guys in my next video hopefully soon and thank you guys for everything for previous followers for new followers for people who aren't followers but still like to watch my videos shout out to you and and yeah i mean we'll see where this new era of my life vlogging takes me and hella chisme to um tell you guys hella chisme like especially with my dating life because I need a reality show. I need a reality show for my dating life because truly it's so funny and ridiculous the things that happen to me. And it's hard to believe the things that do happen to me because you're like, that's not... And when I tell the things that happen to me, people think I'm lying. But I'm like, no, these things actually happen to me in real life. Like, it's 2024. I'm really going through this at 27 years old. But I'm done talking because this video is going to be long. And like I said, that's not the point of this these videos anymore. So thank you guys for coming back. And welcome to the new ones and...